All right, so this is my parents' house here on the lake that uh, over the next month we're gonna be tearing down and doing work on and rebuilding and all the different fun stuff that goes along with that. But to start out here, we wanted to prep some areas so we can put in some footers for the future deck as well as set up the side areas so that we can put in a retaining wall system. So that means we have to take out these blocks over here to get machine access and everything once we take out the generators and propane tanks. So today's task is to get all of these blocks out of here. Uh, and unfortunately our main access is this incredibly steep hill uh, and patio area, so it'll be fun.
What a mess of the patio. Can you help me level it tonight? Huh? Can you help me level it?
I didn't really get to film an end last night, but ultimately these two blocks are just going to be going to recycle since when they were placed down there, my dad just put concrete through the top and centers uh, just to finish them off. And these two blocks are reusable, so these are probably just going to go to my house for the moment. Um, and then as for the rest of the house, <laughs> <clears throat> ultimately we don't really care about uh, any of the lawn other than the aspect of keeping runoff into the lake to a minimum. So basically over here, we just put in the sod to immediately catch any runoff that's aggressively gonna go into the lake, and that should be good. So ultimately, there will be quite a few videos on working on this house. The plan is in about a month to have the whole thing demoed, but we're gonna keep the foundation. And then up in the back, we have a old garage and we're taking that footprint and moving it down to make an attached garage. So we will be, um, so my dad and I will be digging the foundations for that, doing all the retaining walls, the drainage systems, and then uh, unfortunately we're gonna have to hire somebody out to do the demo just because this building is so tall. It's also a prefab building, and because of that it's really strong, and we'll definitely take a big machine to break it, uh, especially up at the top. Actually, we've had this property for 45 years, and it was originally a really old camp that my dad came to all the time when he was a kid, and even when I was a kid, all the way up until I was about 10. And somewhere in that range, we remodeled it into this, which was a prefab, and my dad and I did all the interior, um, pretty much everything except for framing the actual prefab. So ultimately, it's going to be the same same deal again uh, we're really only hiring out somebody to do demo somebody to pour the foundation and then somebody to just frame it and then we're pretty much doing everything else that you don't need a license for so that pretty much that includes you know doing all the flooring the interior walls the electrical um, finish work kitchen stuff you know pretty much anything you can you can name we're going to be doing over this year uh, as well as all of the exterior landscaping, retaining walls, and uh, foundation digging. And so actually in the back here, this garage, um, this was the original garage that was with the house, but we have of course remodeled it um, and renovated it. The wall in the back we redid, uh, had it poured and did forms. All the other walls are just block and mortar. But we will be demoing this one. Uh, because it's smaller and accessible and definitely won't take as much power to break this thing apart But for now this is going to store all of our extra stuff while we are working on the house because it also has an electrical drop So we can get electricity and everything up here And as you can see from the back where we have to demo it from it's you know over two stories high We'll probably actually have to build it up a bit down here for the uh gentleman we're hiring to do the demo so he can reach the top so it's definitely going to be a fun process lots to learn and uh, really looking forward to having the full remodeled house done